Welcome to the What Car Tow Car Awards 2023. Once again, we've teamed up with the caravanning experts at the Camping and Caravanning Club to find Britain's best tow cars. Whether you need to tow a horse box, caravan, or a camping trailer, you'll find the top choices for all budgets right here. All the caravans used in these tests have been supplied by our technical partners, Adria Caravans. We've split the field of 30 cars into five different weight classes with a separate category for electric cars. If you want a great deal on any of these cars, go to whatcar.com where you can also read more about the tow car awards. The Skoda Kamek is an excellent tow car for lightweight caravans and folding campers. The 1.5 litre engine needs to be revved if you want strong acceleration and you may need to drop a gear to hold 60 miles an hour into a headwind, but with a 30 to 60 mile an hour time of 10.7 seconds, the 1.5 is far from underpowered. The Skoda is also stable and comfortable, both while towing and in everyday driving. The Kamek is forgiving over poor surfaces as well. At speed, we found it kept the caravan firmly controlled even in a crosswind. Just be aware that if you are thinking of buying a used Kamek, you should check that it already has a tow ball or preparation for one, because it won't be possible to have towing gear retrofitted. Stability is the attribute we look for in a tow car above all others. The Seat Ateca is secure and composed with a caravan in tow with only the slightest of movements in strong crosswinds. In the emergency lane change test, the driver could see the caravan sliding in their mirrors, but it never pulled the back of the car offline. The Ateca's 2-litre diesel has plenty of pull for a sensibly matched caravan. If anything, the 12.3 second 30 to 60 mile an hour time underplays the mid-range strength of the engine. It comfortably holds 60 miles an hour. It stops as well as it goes, if not better. What's more, there's plenty of room inside for a family and their holiday luggage. Few cars can match the 3 Series Touring for high-speed stability. BMW's executive estate really is a confidence-inspiring tow car. Our test drivers were more than happy at the legal limit with only the slightest of movements, even in breezy weather. Even when the caravan began to slide behind the car in the emergency lane change test, the BMW pulled the Tourer straight again with minimal fuss. You might think four-wheel drive cars are better suited to hill starts, but the rear-wheel drive 3 Series handled the one in six slope with ease in the dry. There was no sign of wheel spin or any rolling back as the electronic parking brake released. There are roomier estate cars, but you certainly won't have to travel light with a 500 litre boot. Sometimes it pays to be different. Nissan hasn't followed the script with the new X-Trail's highly unusual hybrid drivetrain, and the result is a capable and practical tow car. The X-Trail uses a 1.5 litre petrol engine, but it never powers the wheels. Instead, it acts as a generator, and the wheels are driven by electric motors. In the case of E-Force models like the one we tested, there's a motor for each axle, so the X-Trail has four-wheel drive. Once up to motorway speeds, the X-Trail proved impressively stable. Even in crosswinds, the Nissan hardly ever needed steering corrections. With a 575 litre boot capacity, the X-Trail has room for lots of luggage as well. However, it's annoying that the 13-pin socket is so far under the bumper. Volvo has updated the V60 with an uprated plug-in hybrid system. The usable battery capacity has increased, giving the T6 an excellent all-electric range of up to 55 miles, and carbon dioxide emissions of just 18 to 25 grams per kilometre. Volvo has also made the rear motor more powerful, giving a total power output of 345 brake horsepower, shared between all four wheels. Unsurprisingly, so much power makes the V60 T6 very rapid indeed. The 30 to 60 mile an hour time of 5.8 seconds while towing allows for confident overtaking when needed. The bigger battery and electric motors front and rear contribute to the Volvo's hefty curb weight. And because the V60 is an estate, rather than an SUV, all the weight is kept low to the ground. This contributes to excellent stability, whether making an emergency lane change or traveling at 60 miles an hour. If you have very deep pockets and a luxury caravan, the Defender plug-in hybrid is the car we'd recommend for towing it. We've been hugely impressed with the Defender in the past when testing the diesel. The plug-in hybrid is every bit as capable when judged on towing ability, 
but with the potential for lower running costs and emissions. For such a heavy car, carrying its weight so high above the ground, the Defender's performance in the lane change test was exemplary. The big Land Rover was just as impressive at speed. The full-size spare wheel is a plus, but it's a shame Land Rover didn't think about hitching up as it fouls the caravan's stabiliser handle. It's an irritating flaw in an otherwise excellent tow car. The Kia EV6 successfully defends its crown as our favourite electric car. Most importantly, it's great to tow with. You can drive with a light right foot and still keep up with traffic because the EV6 has power to spare. Some electric cars still suffer from low towing limits relative to their size and weight. That's not a problem with the EV6. The 1,600 kilogram maximum weight brings a broad choice of caravans and trailers into play. Even towing such a heavy caravan, the EV6 is reassuringly stable. A curb weight of over two tonnes helps. The Kia was also rock solid in the lane change test too. It's never straightforward choosing one outstanding car from so many. How do you compare an old school diesel with the latest EV or a small crossover with a giant SUV? In the end, it comes down to which of the class winners has really excelled and lifted standards higher. This year, that car is the Volvo V60 Recharge. With more power and a bigger battery than before, the Volvo offers an excellent all-electric range and tremendous performance while towing. Overtaking is punchy and decisive, and stability is first-rate. Whether making an emergency swerve or towing at high speeds in breezy weather, the Volvo was exceptional. The V60 is roomy and practical, as well as a pleasure to tow with. Not many plug-in hybrids have the same boot space as the non-hybrid equivalent, but the V60 Recharge does. So long as you top up the battery regularly, the V60 promises very low emissions and modest running costs for a luxury and roomy estate car. So those are the best tow cars of 2023. To read more about the winners and the other cars we tested at the Tow Car Awards, pick up a copy of What Car magazine or go to whatcar.com, where you'll also be able to find a great deal on your next car. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for lots more buying advice, new car reveals and reviews.